Good afternoon, and welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to an epic. So, um, since last episode, I did a bit of inventory cleaning. Um, I picked up some other things since then, um, and I was over at Zoltan's, I believe it's called Zoran's, something like that. Where's the teleport item? Um, let me see. I meant to have my dragon out and not uh, cold axe anymore. Um, why can I not? Oh, there it is. Uh, Zoran's. So I was over at Zoran's and I was selling items and stuff. And I noticed he had some scrolls for sale. Um, phase door and augury. Uh, phase door, it says it teleports you to the farthest point that you could walk without falling or jumping. And then Augury will give you exceptional knowledge about your active quest, giving the location of needed items or clues to solve difficult puzzles. So I figured those two would come in handy, um, in particular Phase Door for this quest. I'm thinking maybe this would work. We might be able to uh, phase through this. And so we're going to give that a shot. Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, so that, that does work. So, I don't know if there's other ways to do it, but that's one way to do it. And then we can just, I guess, phase door back over. And there we go. Easy enough. Moongspa finally has key! Pale Stranger is good with Moongspa. Now Moongspa has key, Moongspa give weapon. Boonga Boonga. Yes, yes. Here, have. Ah. Slicering? Looks like a spear. Wow. 150 damage. Critical chance of pole arms plus 4%. This weapon's magic allows it to attack several targets at once. Oh, man. But it takes level 8 in pole arms, so um, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Um, and then we also have this quest, The Vengeance. And so let's give that a shot. So we need eight leeches, and I'm assuming that we need those in our inventory, which is going to be terrible. Um, let me see, what would be the quickest route? Would it be this teleport? I want to say. Maybe. No, that's uh, to there. Let me see, because I can't recall where exactly the uh, the orc quest is. Is it? I wanted to say that it was near here somewhere. Maybe back. That's right. We would have to. Um, I guess the quickest way to go would be. Let's see, would it be over here? Or would it be from the entrance of this area? I don't know. Actually, I think it would be... Okay. So it would be like right here. So I'm guessing, yeah, I don't know, we'd probably go to just the entrance because, um, yeah, we could go up to Zoltan's and then up. I think that, well, no, this would probably actually be quicker. We'll do that. Um, so, now that we've got that part of it figured out. Let's go get our eight leeches. So we're gonna have to go, I guess, down into the swamp. And this is just, I'm guessing that this is how we're gonna have to do it. Just, uh, I think an educated guess, because they do give those leeches as an item. Would it be, okay, it's right over here. And so I'm thinking that we could get those leeches and then run them back. But we're gonna need eight of them. It sounds terrible. Let's just dive on in, I guess. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, there's some blue magic essence. Looks like we've got two of them so far. And this, okay, that just goes up to the shop. Um, by the way, Real KC had suggested to uh, look into getting the advanced frost bolt, frost bolt uh, spells and the advanced fire bolts. I did get the advanced fire bolt. Um, the frost bolt is way too high on frost magic for us, so we're not going to be able to use that just yet. There's some leeches down here. Um, but the only thing about it, I'm not going to use it all the time, um, because it does, uh, take three of the essence instead of, um, can we just stand in the same water and get more of them? I'm guessing not. Um, but it does require three of the essence instead of just, um, requiring one essence so until we get our stockpile built up of essences um, you know it's a little bit a little bit tougher for us to use that like as an all-the-time kind of thing Man. how many more leeches we still need three more okay two more let me um cause a lot of damage Six damage a tick is not fun times. Just for the record. Hopefully we can get our last two right here. Yeah, we just need one more now. And then we're just going to have to get them all ran over there. There we go. So we have eight of them. Why can I not? There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and warp on back. I'm not going to save because I don't know if it's going to remove the leeches on us if we were to save. I probably should have tested that earlier, but I didn't, so <laughs> we're going to go with it. And we'll just keep healing ourselves up. Let's go, let me pop a regen potion maybe. That is at least going to help us offset this a little bit. No! We don't want to go down there. Alright. Let's see. Let's pop another regen potion. Oh my god. And now we gotta sit here with this. And wait for this orc to go by. Do we not have any stronger regen? Oh, we do. There we go. We'll pop that one. That one is enough. I should have popped that in the first place. I guess maybe we can kill these orcs. Because he had said we can't be seen, but I guess we can just kill everybody. I guess. And there we go. He's got eight leeches on him. Okay, so that's how we do it. I should have popped that... Um, Realistically, I put, should have popped that regen potion sooner. I didn't think about it yet. Um, I didn't think about having one that would actually outheal that, I guess. Already put leeches? Yeah, I just left his package covered in them. When he wakes up, he's going to be in for a big surprise. <laughs> I'm grateful. I give present. <laughs> He gave us a Midas Transmutation Scroll. What's this do? Um, where did it go? 
Maybe the, okay. Transmute the victim into coins. The more life points the creature has, the more coins will appear. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Uh, and let's go ahead and warp over. I want to make a couple potions. Just really, really quick so that we've got them on hand. couple of these so that we got them okay so now we're all set um, I'm still using the low quality potions I should probably I should honestly probably start using the new ones I can't recall did I get the no that's right because we didn't have high enough potions to get the recipe so I haven't bought it yet um, and we didn't really level our potions last time so um, but okay, so we are all squared away on quests now, which is great stuff. Um, do we want to go... Let's tackle the library to the right first. See what all is over there. And then we will um, go up, I think. Alright. Shoot. Oh, that does not pause it. For the record... Okay. We got an arcane immunity scroll. I can see lots of papers and books, all of them written in old and uh, strange language. That's fine. We got arcane shock scroll and precise ring of the barbarian. That sounds great. And ring of the mutilator. go and we got 30 golden magic essence and shoot. okay there we go and so let's take a look at these rings so ring of the mutilator extra damage with daggers swords and axes plus 20 on each barbarian is plus three percent critical chance with maces plus three percent critical chance with axes so i definitely want this one and if we can yeah okay so we have enough slots, I guess. Looks like we have one more ring slot. That's crazy. Because we do have an immense amount of rings. And we've got all of our rings equipped. There's four. Okay, we don't have our bow one equipped. So we'll go ahead and equip that. So now we are have all of our ring slots used. And let's see. Is there any hidden passages over here before I move on, maybe? It looks like a no. Okay. Alright, let's move on then. I really like this dragon pet, by the way. I don't know why. I mean, I imagine it's probably not that much different than the cold axe one as far as, like, damage, unless somebody, you know, has a weakness to a specific type. But for some reason, I like the dragon a lot more. Oh, before we go up there, let me first change over that. And I did update our mice, because we were actually still using kind of an old one. Oh yeah, these guys, uh... No! Oh. Stop it! Quit hitting my, uh, my pet. There we go. Um... Oh, it's over here. Do we want to go to the left or the right first? I'm thinking the left since we're here right now um maces do do a bit more damage on these guys so we will definitely be sticking with that okay all right all right all right all right all right looks like just a sh shortcut door here and there's multiple exits um let's go down here first let's go ahead and get our dragon back out hello Buddy. All right. We got a protective ring of the elements. Oh, what is this? And some melee mastery scrolls. This is a our first. No, we had this yellow ring. Max health plus twenty. Protection against fire and frost, both plus four. Yes. So let's go ahead and remove the. Let's see. 
go ahead and remove the extra damage with axes because we really don't use axes all that much. And we'll take this elemental resistance ring. Seems like a fair enough choice. And then let's go up here. We'll go to the right hand side first. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Hammer of the Blacksmith. We've got one of those before, didn't we? Nope, that's a different one. That's 174 damage. The one we're using is 129. Um, causes additional fire damage. Honestly, I think I'd rather just have the straight up big boost in damage. So let's... Uh, let's do that. And what do we got over here? Where does this place go? Where in the hell are we going? Um... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Let's finish exploring this room first before we go across a bridge. Like a very foreboding bridge. And what do we got over here? We got more uh, axe men. Oh my god, it's like a maze in this place. Shit. I don't like it. There we go. You're dead. What is... No! Oh my gosh. There's just guys everywhere and pathways everywhere. Okay, and what if we go up right here? Where does this lead? Up here with these guys. And more, looks like there's a door right to our left. One of these doors. And what about this quest guy? What does he have for us? Fire immunity scroll. Our last light. Man, it's been a long time. You took your time getting here, What's young that stranger. Guy? That's because I spent some time in the gardens and stopped to prune a little tree. And you, what are you doing here? I am looking for my name. In the library? Maybe there's a record of the people that entered this castle? There is a magic scroll that contains the names of all creatures that die in this place. Every time someone dies, his name and face appear magically on it. My name should be there. So you're searching for the scroll here? To my misery. This scroll is well hidden somewhere in this library. Well, if I find it, I'll try to look for your name. Thanks, stranger. Alright. Now we could use, I imagine we could probably use that one scroll that we've got to just tell us where the location is. But, I think we'll probably look for it first. I think it'll be a little more fun. And let's see what's over here. Because I am quite curious. Is that challenge portals? I can't recall. It's been so long since we did a challenge portal. Oh, we need a key to the tower. Um, but if you recall, we did a challenge portal like a million years ago. But it has been a very long time. So I honestly have kind of forgotten what they look like. But... Uh, that's possibly what that is. Okay, so do we want to go... Hmm. Let's go to the right first, I think. Oh yeah, we can only go... Let's... Okay, let's actually go down and let's explore that room. Okay. Something like that. This place is, like, mega confusing, by the way. Just because there's so many pathways. Hello, friend. Yeah. There we go, and we got, uh, seven blue magic essence. Good stuff. Um, no, oh, I want to get him back out. Okay, we've only got one green essence, which is kind of bad because that's our, um, 
That's our heal spell. I'll go ahead and pop this, actually. And let's go get this guy. Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Okay, can we get a... Can we get a lock on here? There goes one of them. No! Okay. Um, I'll pop a regen potion, actually. No! There we go. I want to try to conserve as much, uh... Wand of Slow. I want to try to conserve as much essence as I can, you know. Alright. So we really need to upgrade our potions. Like, <laughs> very, very quickly. Okay. Nope! Shit. Alright. I don't like that there's two of those guys up there. Yeah, why don't you guys get moving? No! Why you gotta hit the one that's not aggro? Alright, ghost material. What is that? What is ghost material? Strange material used to create advanced magical potions. Okay. What is this? What in the world? 20 golden magic essence. Okay, we still don't know what to do with that stuff, like as far as um, what kind of spells to cast with that. And it looks like we can go down there, but we'd just be stuck in a room with all those fire helmets. What's up? Oh. Oh. This is an interesting uh, boss room because if you notice, like, there's ladders and ropes on each side. Oof. I don't love it. Let's just put it that way. I don't love what I see there. And what about... What about over here? What is this? The sleep spell is ideal to make enemies unconscious for quite a while. The best part is that a spell is cast directly over the target with no travel time and with no chance to miss. If you wish to put a specific enemy to sleep, target it and cast the spell. The spell will be placed only on the target, even if there are other creatures around. If you wish to sleep a whole group of enemies, it is best not to target any monster and cast a spell repeatedly until all monsters are asleep. Great Guardians are immune to all mental spells, but you can sleep monsters summoned by them. If you already have the sleep spell, drop down and use it against the helmets without targeting them. Once all of them are asleep, you can finish them one by one. Okay, well, funny story. <clears throat> we don't have... No, I didn't mean. Shit, I just used the Midas scroll. Okay, <laughs> whatever. I was thinking I had this tab open, and then I just popped it. Awesome. Okay, so let's let's do this. Right. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, okay, and it opens up a ladder. Just let that guy kill them all. That's fine. Uh, 30 more golden magic essence. Okay. 
Any secret passages around here? No? Okay. And we're not going to fight the boss just yet, because that doesn't sound like a great idea at the moment. Plus, we've still got exploration to do here and all that good stuff. Um, one thing I'm not entirely sure of, if you recall, we came across a room um, back here. One of these two. I think it was this one. <clears throat> that... Um, or no, I think it was the one next to it. I don't know. But anyway, it, we couldn't get in there. And there was like no way at all to get in there. And I'm kind of wondering, I want to see if the phase door would work for that. If it would let us teleport through a wall. I'm not entirely sure if that would work though. Um, let's go up here first, I guess. No! Oh. Fire back at him, damn it. We go. Okay, and what's up? What's up here? Okay, this all goes over there. I bet this door. Oh my gosh, this place is so confusing. I bet this door goes up. Oh wait, there's an entrance right here as well. Oh shit. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a scroll of illumination. Is this not going anywhere? Okay, I guess that's it. Just a scroll of illumination. And well, where the hell does this go? Oh great, crows are plenty up in these parts. Ah! We found something. Okay. I think that's all of them, isn't it? And then we got Scroll Iron Golem. Um, let me go ahead and re-equip this Mutilator Ring. And what is this Iron Golem Scroll do? Hopefully it's something really awesome, and hopefully I accidentally pop it somewhere. Um, oh, you know what I could do? I could just do this. Um, invokes a powerful iron golem, a mechanical being that knows no pain and no mercy. Question is, is it for us, or is it just like a boss that we could summon? Because honestly, with this game, I think it could be either. Okay. I guess there's nowhere to go here. Alright, and what... How do we get up there? Oh, okay. Never mind. Looks like that ladder... I was thinking that door would probably lead there, but it looks like the ladder goes up to that. I was thinking that would probably go to, like, a different uh, floor or something. We've got uh, three phase door scrolls. Three arcane immunity scrolls. Um, we're still looking for that guy's name as well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for my chance to jump down. That is what I'm doing. Where does... Hi! I was wondering if there was one of these here. Who dares interrupt my eternal meditation? My name is Jean-Luc Picard, and I am one of the dark servants of Harnacon. I come before you to witness your magic. If you are Jean-Luc Picard, then say hello to the crew of the Enterprise. <laughs> but, but... 
How do you know about the TV series? I explained it to him. Rick? What? Is it really you? What are you doing here? Dude, you're still hallucinating. We poured something in your beer and you're stuck in a hallucination. Damn it, I was right. I was starting to doubt. Hey, how come I can't see you? You cannot see him because he is not real. I am manipulating your mind. I simply read your thoughts and saw the lies. Jean-Luc Picard, your friend Rick, and the mistaken reason for your presence in this castle. Nor can you conceal the shadow you call Zera. How'd you do it? What sort of magic is this? This is the dominion of the mind and senses. To show you the way, I will need a magic book. One that must be created to hold the powerful spell that transmits my knowledge. But if you know that I'm not a servant of Harnikon, why do you want to teach me your magic? Because you are a creature with a very peculiar intellect. You approach your goals in a novel manner. And it will be entertaining to see how you use my powers to bypass the adverse situations you will find in this castle. To create the magic book, I will need golden magic essence, blank paper, a black feather, and black ink. The shelves are filled with books. Search for loose paper between them. Concerning the feather and ink, you will not find them here in the library. Pose yourself this question. From what beasts could you obtain a black feather and black ink? Wow, we need 200 blank paper. <laughs> That's something. Oh man, what are you doing in there? Okay, we are burning. Help, help, we are burning. Okay. Yeah, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Okay. Oh, shit, there's guys all over up there. These areas are kind of tough. Okay, there is so much area here to be covering. Get down. Get down. Alright. We're gonna cheese these guys here a little bit. Okay, what do we got? Fire! There's one down. There we go. Okay. Man, these battles are... This room in general is tough, I think. Okay, so we're getting quite a bit of paper out of these, so it's not too, too bad. Still a lot of paper, though. Precise Ring of the Night. What is this? Critical chance in melee plus 4%. Wow, okay. Um, I'm kind of running out of ring slots here. Let's see. Um, critical chance with bows. Yeah, I think we're going to lose the bows, critical chance, and equip that. Because we're generally meleeing stuff. You know, occasionally I'll use bows, so I'm going to keep the damage ring on as long as I can, but... Alright. And what about this room? Yes. Fire on him again, please. Come on, one more time. Get him. There we go. Alright, I love this path, by the way. 
Okay. Didn't we find a book a while back? I know it's not needed for this quest, but... We found that... It was a floating scroll. That's what it was. I can't recall where we found it. But I wonder if that is where that guy's name is. I just now realized... What does this say, anyway? Study room. Complete silence is required. Okay. Um... But we did find that floating scroll, and he was like, Hey, look, a floating scroll. But, like, we couldn't, like, use it or anything. And I just wonder if maybe that's where that guy's name is. Um, I wish I could find maces and swords and not all these. We've been finding a lot of axes, pole arms, daggers. Like, all the um, uniques we've been finding have been things that we don't use. Everything down here is respawned now. Awesome. Awesome times. I know it's about wrapping up point for the episode, so I figure we'll... Since we're already right here, let's go ahead and finish exploring this little area. And then next episode, there's still a little bit more of the library to explore. And we'll try to get that explored next episode. And maybe wrap up um, some of these quests. And maybe fight the boss. We'll see. We'll see how time uh, how time treats us and everything. Oh man, I don't love it. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna equip a bow. I'm gonna go down here and be bowman for a little while. Why are you not firing, you damn fool? Okay. No! No, I don't want that! Okay, we're gonna go in with our sword and just go in guns blazing, I think. Oh, cool. There'll be more of them. Oh, my hand's on the wrong button, I think. Fire at him. There we go. I knew he was about to die, but... Goodness. Okay, illumination scroll. We got some papers. And I'm sure the black feather and stuff's gonna come from the, uh, crows. Okay. And there's a bunch more golden magic essence. And... Let's see. How long are we running right now? Oh, yeah, it's about wrapping up point. Um, let's see what's down here really, really quick. Let me get this weapon out. Because it'll be a tad more effective on this guy. No! Oh! Shit! Okay. These guys aren't terribly smart, so... We will just, uh... Oh, well. I'll res him later. And we have lit all the lights in the library. Good stuff. Okay, and this brings us right back down here. So, did we... Okay, that's everything here. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, finished exploring the library, I guess. I could have swore... I could have swore there was something we hadn't actually finished um, some area of the library that we hadn't finished uh, exploring, wasn't there? Let me run down here really, really quick. I know I'm terrible about not getting these episodes cut off at like right around 30 minutes. Um, ah! Stop it! But I could have swore... No? Okay, that's it, I guess. Alright, so I guess I'm going to end out the episode right there. Wait a second. Stop it. No! No! Okay. 
Um, anyway, before I die and lose all that progress, um, I think I know where that scroll is, and I'm pretty sure that's the one for the guy's name. So next episode, when we come back, we're going to try to knock out this writing magic and the guy's name quest. And then um, we will hopefully fight that boss and down it. And I'm still kind of curious because we there's still... We haven't found any more of the challenges for the unepic coins yet. We found that one in the mines, and either they are extremely well hidden, or they're like all at the back half of the game. I don't know. Uh, so, I'm definitely curious to find some more of those, hopefully, though. Um, oh, wow. So, there's six different types of magic. Wow. Okay. And... Um, Hopefully soon we'll get our potions upgraded so that we can use better potions as well. I'd really like to get into that. Um, but anyway, we're going to end the episode out there. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, please comment, like, subscribe. It's very, very much appreciated. And until next episode, uh, do take care, and I hope to see you guys then.